going on, y'all? This your boy, Mr. Beef, from Backyard Barbecue. Uh, one set of the squad. Smitty ain't here today. Well, he'll be here later. Uh, cooking for retirement, man. He was actually in the retirement for one of our partners, man. And our partner asked us to uh, hook, a, hook him up, bring it to the crib. So you know how can I say no to one of my fellow uh, brothers. So anyway, on that note, um, I decided to... Actually, let me let this camera up so I ain't bend it down. You know, I'm getting old back problems and all that good type stuff. But anyway, um, we got a... I ain't gonna even spoil it for you. We we messing around right now with some seasoning. And uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see the seasoning we're using. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that in a second. So bear with me. So I'm messing around with some seasoning. I got uh, 10 pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 pieces of chicken. Pretty much all of them flavored differently. And what we're doing is we're trying to find a flavor profile for this competition. Keep in mind, y'all, when you cooking for the house or you cooking for customers, friends, family, etc., that taste is totally different. The flavor profile is totally different than when you're doing a competition. Everything's based off location, uh, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, uh, Texas, Kansas City. Everybody as in judges have a different taste, right? So what we're doing is we're messing around and we're trying to go with a, uh, the consensus on what chicken tastes the best. And then we're going to try to perfect that seasoning um, from there. So I'm just using standard stuff that you can buy out of the store. Feel free to uh, try all of these. And uh, we're going to doctor doctored up so for instance if this piece of chicken I'm just pointing at one if one of these pieces of chicken tastes better than all the rest of them I got them lined up basically off the flavors that were mixed and then um then we'll start messing around and adding our own our own uh, seasoning to it and then go from there all right so bear with me hold on I'm gonna camera acting crazy anyway it's hot out here y'all I think it's like 92 degrees so I'm gonna go ahead and do this Put this on the grill, show y'all how I'm doing it. Show y'all the meat that's on the grill for the uh for the uh retirement ceremony. It ain't much. I think it's like six slab of ribs. And I'ma talk about that because I'm kind of disappointed in my brother and what he brought us. All this is meat he brought us to season up, Smitty seasoned up and dropped it off at like eleven o'clock last night. Uh, caught me off guard. I wasn't even expecting uh, uh that I thought he was gonna drop it off in the morning. But anyway, don't matter. We adapt to any situation. But this one here is Definitely a big no-no. I don't care if you're cooking at home, cooking with somebody, whatever. But we're gonna show you that in a minute. Let's talk about this seasoning. All right. Lower my camera a little bit. Excuse my garage. That's just random stuff I keep around. It's about time to put this chicken on. All right, let me turn this around so y'all can actually see this. All right. What you see here? Two Weber products, right? Smoky Brown Sugar Rub. Kansas City barbecue rub, right? And then you see four seasoning. From left to right, Montreal chicken. Uh, let me give you a close-up. Montreal chicken, John Henry's pecan rub. Awesome, I might add. If you seen one of my other videos when I went to San Diego, I'm going back in a little bit. This stuff here, I had to let my son taste it. This stuff here tastes tremendous. So I'm gonna look in the stores around here and see if I got it, and um, go from there. This stuff here, man, like, Normally season when you put it in your hand, taste it. It tastes okay, you you know, I can make it work. This stuff here, I don't even think I need to mix nothing, but we're doing it anyway just to see. Got some McCormick's uh chicken rub. Messing around. Hey, keep in mind ain't nobody paying me, man. We just trying to find the best flavor profile that we can uh, update with what we got going on and try to find the best thing. So the way this is set up is I'm gonna put them in front of each particular uh row of chicken. Like I said, it's ten pieces, there's four seasonings, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna tell you about these last two in a minute. So based off of this, these two have the uh, chicken rub. These two have the uh, the chicken seasoning from San Diego. John Henry's pecan rub on the third row. M Montreal on here, fourth row, right? Now, you're probably asking what these are for. So what I did was initially, the bottom row has the smoky brown sugar. Top row has the Kansas City barbecue rub. All five pieces. Right? Makes sense? All of these for the for the rubs, all of these for this rub. And then each row has that seasoning. So I can identify if this chicken, it tastes better than everything else. It was used using the chicken rub from Montreal. 
and the uh, KC barbecue rub, right? So basically, you got eight pieces of chicken right here with season, with the same season, but different rubs. Make sense? All right, bear with me here, right? So these last two, right? These last two on the very end is a combination of the Kansas City bar barbecue rub and the brown sugar and all of these together. So it's four different, actually it's six different flavor profiles on these last two because I just want, just like I said, they were extra two pieces and I didn't want to bring out another seasoning just for this. So we trying, I didn't want to, too many seasoning at one time to deal with. Plus trying to remember which one is uh, going on the grill, right? So I'm gonna put all these on the rack as they lay. I took a picture of them so I know exactly when I put them on the grill, exactly what's what. And like I said, these two on the end are all of the seasons mixed together. They've been sitting in the refrigerator about two hours and it's time to put them on this grill, y'all. So. Bear with me, we're gonna roll over to this grill. All right, barbecuers and barbecuettes, man. Couple issues when you're dealing with friends, family, customers, uh, whoever. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this cooler this Joker gave me, man. Well, gave Smitty. But uh, that's in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put this chicken on. Remember when I told you how I got it all uh, uh, set up so I know exactly what flavor profile is what? I'm gonna go ahead and open this grill up. Give y'all a quick look. The beauty of my little rack that I bought. That's for the competition, y'all. So when we practicing, that's how we gonna do this. Got my safe gloves on. You definitely always wanna use a uh, glove when you messing with meat. Um, at home, you can do whatever you wanna do. We're going with skin down first. And then we'll flip it up at the end and then uh, try to tighten up the skin. All right, you want that bite through skin for the competition. At home, you can do whatever you do. Whatever comes out of that grill is how we eat. All right, keep in mind I'm keeping these organized. Hopefully y'all can see me without standing in front of the camera. And then we'll go from there. All right, that's just to keep it aligned. A quick look at this chicken that's chicken that's seasoned already with our standard base that we do for all our uh, friends and family when they request stuff and let me close this I want to talk about these ribs for a hot second I want you to look at that look at them ribs as you notice Actually, let me take this off the, the stand. Give me a second, I'm gonna come back. That way I can switch the view. All right, take a good look. That is not a complete rib. For whatever reason, this joke about ribs, six lab ribs, as you can see, cut in half. That means you take a slab of ribs, spare ribs. Let me go ahead and close this up, y'all, because I need to get this done. Got about four hours left on this chicken. Uh, this joker brought over some ribs that were cut in half from the butcher. Does that make any sense? Bear with me, I'm using one hand since I'm only one part of my squad here. And man, that's a big no-no. What, what happens is, is it's harder for you to determine the times of your temps. So I'm winging it today, y'all. Then I'm pulling these skills out. Well, these so-called skills I got. Now I'm showing you a cooler. Let me get a close-up of this. Sorry. Damn, I'm in the way. Hopefully y'all can see that. I can't see because the sun beaming down. It's called a Thermos 34 cooler. Um, this is probably the worst cooler I've ever seen. What happens is, uh, uh, like I said, my brother, ain't gonna call you out, Mitch. But uh, yeah, so if you happen to know somebody named Mitch, I ain't talking about him, but he just happened to have him brought me this doggone cooler. But anyway, Mitch, you can trash this joker, man. Use it for your sodas and water. But anyway, um, here's the deal. This cooler, he brought it over. We filled it up with ice with his uh, case of chicken. When I say a case of chicken, I'm talking about 40 pounds of chicken. And uh, rightfully so, it held the chicken until he got it to us. So we packed it full of ice. And not even 24 hours later, the ice had melted and the chicken was room temperature. So uh, last night, we got ready to uh, rock and roll with this chicken. Uh, as I'm talking, I'll show you my tips as they uh, come back up. 
Should be at about two two fifty, I think it uh, uh is how I got it set it now with my uh my gauges. See the Shirley well not even Shirley Fab, the uh, tail trues pretty much tell you what's going on inside. They pretty much right on. Quick look at the back of the truck. Um actually, let's go over here right quick. But yeah, that cooler. Um you get back to that. Man, that dog on cooler had that chicken room temperature. So we wasted a case of chicken, man. A case of leg quarters. So we had to foot bite that bullet and go from there. So long story short, you got one of them, get rid of it. Use it. All right, sorry about that, y'all. That was on the camera, battery died. Anyway, uh, we back. Put a little juice in there. Hopefully I can finish this up before it shut off again so I can go charge it. But uh, I got storage bins now. Or well, a few of them, I got two of them. This is obviously oak wood. Uh, if you look right there, I got oak right there. My chair is still sitting in the back. But I want to get it up off the, uh, even though this is a plastic liner, bed liner, works perfectly for everything. But I just want to have everything organized so I can uh, buy bins and buy different flavors of wood and know what they're going, uh, know what they are. Uh, upgrading to little containers. Let me show you real quick what we got going on. Uh, this is my little storage thing, gloves. Um, cleaning supplies, a level of drill for my uh oh, got some butcher paper, y'all. Be on the lookout for what that's coming right here. Be on the lookout for what that's coming. Oh, uh, what's coming for that? Um, move this out the way. The old suitcase. I just put my utensils in, clean them off when I get to the spot. Obviously, y'all know what this is. All my seasonings. Uh, a few plates, napkins. Soy sauce, apple cider vinegar. Got my secret barbecue sauce. Can't tell you that. Some other stuff, sauces and stuff, basically in here. Cover the napkins. So there we go. Getting better organized. Making more room in the uh, truck. We're going from there. So bear with us, and uh, we'll show you what this chicken look like at the end, y'all. Stay tuned. Hey, y'all. We back. Uh, got some new chicken on there. Just ignore that. I want to show y'all the color on this chicken, man. Y'all see the color? I really look. All of them look pretty doggone decent, except for that one. A little dark. The rest of them, I like the color of this piece right here. That, and that's that Montreal. We're going to taste them out and see just what they uh, uh, taste like. And we'll come back to give the consensus on it, y'all. Stand by. All right, backyard barbecues and barbecuettes. This your boy, Mr. B. Uh, sorry I ain't show y'all what the actual... Uh, the chicken end up uh, the final product because I put glaze on it. Uh, when I talk about glaze, I'm talking about barbecue sauce and uh, a little of my secret recipe. Um, long story short, out of all 10 pieces of the chicken, all of them taste okay, but the last two, outstanding. So I know for future reference, not for this competition, because I, j I just came up with it, that uh, I got something better that I'm gonna do, y'all. So y'all stay tuned when we uh, enter this contest. And uh, y'all wish us luck. Like I said, we got, uh, the day is Sunday. Next Friday, we'll be cooking up, man. Hopefully this uh, hurricane is coming in. I think Ivan or whatever it's called. Coming in, hopefully that doesn't deter the uh, tournament. But uh, if, if not, we're gonna rock and roll, y'all. But anyway, long story short, like I said, uh, the last two that had all the seasoning, that was awesome. Tremendous, tremendous. Uh, my daughter, she tore it up um, and told me every time I cook, to cook that way. So now I got a video that I can go back to for reference if I forget what I actually use. I'm actually going to write it down. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about this competition, right? Just met up with my boy Myron yesterday, gave him some hickory so he can mess around and practice. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend. Hopefully y'all stacked up on a... a uh, charcoal because obviously they selling them uh home depot Lowe's, stores like that two bags for ten dollars 9.88 or whatever it is hopefully y'all stacked up on that if you didn't this video is uploaded until uh on today will be uploaded here shortly once i edit it and then uh we're gonna go from there hopefully y'all get there before uh, tuesday morning when the sale goes off stack up because this is probably the last time that you're gonna get a chance to get some charcoal maybe thanksgiving weekend but stack up, man. Stack up for the winner. Get prepared. You know how much you use. Anyway, tournament time. Let's talk about that. Right, real quick. We are prepped up to do everything. I just went out and bought like uh, about 25 slabs. 
uh, uh, ribs from the uh, the store. Uh, they won't sell for the holiday, so I stacked up on that. Then my brother called me and said he wanted 10 because they were cheap, so I went back and bought 14 more. I bought the rest of them. So we stacked up pretty good on ribs right now. Um, a lot of them I, I use for practice, but then sometimes people call me and ask me can I cook for them. I never say no just because I like to do it, whether it's for fun or just messing around, man. You know, I, I just do it. But anyway, uh, we ready to rock and roll. I'm going to pack up everything Thursday night. We're gonna leave out Friday about 11-ish to get there, maybe about one. I think Myron, uh, his partner gonna already be there. They should be there around 12. Um, so we'll be an hour behind, but just cause I work, you know what I'm saying, I uh, chose to do it like that. But anyway, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna film so much video that y'all gonna have a blast, man. I'm gonna walk around, try to talk to every professional and backyard person on the circuit. If they wanna get on camera, if they don't mind, uh, obviously I'm gonna ask. You don't want to record somebody and they don't want to be recorded. And especially if you put it on, on the video for everybody to see. But y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all gonna, gonna come with me on this journey. Hopefully I can do it live, man. I got to see if YouTube will let me do live. I don't know if I got enough subscribers for that. Um, and y'all see how we living down there, how we doing. Uh, hopefully we had an RV set up down there so we could chill out. And not sleep in them fold-up chairs we were prepared to sleep in. Because at this point, in a competition, you'll do anything to possibly win a competition. So, like I said, stick with us. We got everything set up. I'm talking about from the aluminum pans to the uh, turn-in boxes, salt, pepper, your basic stuff, garlic. Uh, we got everything, man. I went and got some more wood. I got oak wood that's dried out. I got cherry that's dried out. I got hickory that will be dried out by then. Uh, I'll speed that process up. Actually, I might shoot a video on that on how to... Uh, to, to season wet wood, how you how, how you, you set that up? Actually, I'm gonna do a video on that, so stay tuned for that. Uh, in a nutshell, we ready to rock and roll, man. Y'all wish me luck, me and the squad, uh, backyard barbecues. We all rolling. Everybody individually do their thing, but since that name was registered, we ride with backyard barbecue. See you both, and Mr. B on there. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one just because I don't know if I like the glitter look. Uh, y'all come in if you like the little glitter look. Maybe I set that up for women or something. I don't know, but just depends on how I feel. And uh, on what I wear, uh, apron-wise, we prep, man, ready to go. Actually, I'm ready to go right now just to meet a lot of people, network, uh, uh, possibly get into some uh, future adventures with them, and uh, just meet good people, man, just having a good time. Hopefully, I meet some people that say, hey, man, I seen you on YouTube, man. That'll be crazy. So if you get a chance, you in the uh, Orlando area, I think it's called Apaca, Florida. Uh, the link is in the description on the page where it's going to be. The event is September 8th and 9th. Uh, if you want to come out, you I don't know if you can come out Friday, but you definitely can come out uh, Saturday. It's free. All it costs is some gas to get there. Um, come out and say what's up with your boy, man. We're going to have a good time, like I said. I even hook you up with some food just so you can taste. We'll talk. I actually might put you on video, man. You might be uh, uh, get your 15 seconds of fame. So stick with me, man, and let's enjoy this venture together, y'all. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. I'll let your boy.